Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're having a very good day. So finally guys, I finished The Fault in Our Stars by John Green about two days ago. I thought it was a very, very good read. I know the big question on everyone's mind is if I cried like a baby while reading The Fault in Our Stars and sadly, I did not. I know. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't cry while reading books. I come close but never that sobbing, ugly cry. We should definitely have a month where you guys suggest the saddest books you've ever read. I read them and it could be whether Priscilla is or is not a robot month. I'd be very interested to know. It'd be very insightful for me. But just because I did not cry during The Fault in Our Stars doesn't mean I wasn't emotionally invested in the characters and their story. I was. As the story progressed, my heart became heavier and heavier for these characters and what they were going through. So let's get started with this book review and discussion video. I decided to to do a non-spoiler book review at the beginning of this video because I know a lot of people have not read this book yet and would like to know my thoughts on it so here you go. Fair warning though I cannot guarantee that there won't be spoilers in the comment section below so I suggest keep your eyes right up here and once you read The Fault in Our Stars you can definitely watch the later half of this video, the discussion part and all of that jazz. So anyways guys let's get started with the book review. So our main character is Hazel and she's been diagnosed with cancer when she was about 13 years old and it wasn't until taking this miracle drug that helped extend her life temporarily. To help Hazel, her mother feels that she should go to support group for cancer kids and that's where Hazel meets the lovely Augustus Waters. And this is where I'd like to stop and say the story takes off from there. Hazel and Augustus pass the cross and we see them grow and develop together and individually and it was an amazing story. So let's talk about the characters next. I really enjoyed all of the characters from the parents to our main characters Hazel Augustus we have the best friend Isaac we also have the author Peter Van Houten and all of them were really great they are such down-to-earth realistic characters to live a life with the illness that they have it doesn't discourage or deter them from living the life they want to lead you know they still go to school they still enjoy playing video games you know plotting revenge against their exes I loved it what I loved most about the characters was not only their individual characteristics but the moments and the relationships they form between each other. That's what I love most about John Green's books are the relationships that connect these characters and they're so lovely to read about. Let's talk about the plot next. I thought the plot was great. I thought the pacing of the book was well done. Again what I said about the little moments that these characters have, this book was full of them and I appreciated all the understated subtle moments we may take advantage of and we don't normally appreciate and it's those close moments we have with the people we care about that are really important and significant in our lives. Through the beginning of the book we see the struggles our characters have to deal with. We see the normalcies we can relate to and as the story progresses your heart, my heart especially, got really heavy towards the end of the book. It's more than a book about death and dying. I was a little taken off guard about the end. I thought I had two or three more pages to go but it kind of ended abruptly for me. I wasn't anticipating how the story would end and when it did it was like oh my gosh did it just end? So I kept rereading the last paragraph over and over again to get that final ending but I didn't and it kind of plays off on another aspect in the book I won't talk about because it's spoilerish. As for the writing, what can I say about the writing? John Green's writing is amazing, very well written, beautifully written, some of the sentences, wow, very poetic. Of course my vocabulary count increased while reading The Fault in Our Stars, how can it not? I love the dialogue in John Green's books, I adore it so I still don't think normal kids, teenagers, talk the way that these characters do. It's very sophisticated, witty, funny, and I just wish I could talk the way that these characters talk, but blah, you know. I give The Fault in Our Stars. Five stars out of five, of course. Again, John Green masters the art of balancing the very heavy with the lighthearted, funny moments. John Green does that so well. It was a very intense, emotional read. I read this so quickly. So that's my spoiler-free portion of this video for you. I hope you guys enjoy the read. Check it out when you can and feel free to come back to this video when you've read the book and we could discuss our favorite moments. For those who haven't read the book yet, I will say farewell for now and I will see you guys another time. For those who wish to continue on, let's talk about it. Let's talk 
about the awesomeness of The Fault in Our Stars and what I took from it. My favorite moments in the book anyway, so let's just give those who are going a couple minutes or a couple seconds. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so my favorite moment that I really enjoyed was the Amsterdam trip. I really, really enjoyed it. When we first find out that Hazel's favorite author is living in the Netherlands in Amsterdam, I realized, oh my gosh, they're going to Amsterdam. Augustus and Hazel are going to Amsterdam. And it was kind of spoiler-ish a little bit because if you watch the Vlogbrothers channel, you see that John goes to Amsterdam. And of course, that was for his research purposes on the Fault in Our Stars. But really, that's not a big spoiler at all. It's what happens in Amsterdam that is mind-blowing that I really really enjoyed and wow it was so cool. Hazel and Augustus's date uh, so romantic. I loved Hazel and Augustus's date when they were dining at Orangy and they're having their champagne you know bottled stars. I thought that was so lovely. I thought that was so romantic. The toast that they were given as they saw this boat sail on the canal. I thought that was really cute. And wow, my heart melted. Let me tell you that, it was amazing. And of course, Augustus's and Hazel's visit to Peter Van Houten's house to reveal what happens at the end of Hazel and Augustus's favorite book. I really love Peter Van Houten's douchey douchiness. I really liked it. There was something behind Peter Van Houten was feeling. There was something there that was very painful and sad for him. I thought the shattering of expectations really added another dimension to the story. And it kind of pulled a little bit from the themes in Paper Towns, how Q revered Margot Roth Spiegelman, and this was kind of similar to me. That aspect of the book really reminded me of that aspect in Paper Towns, and I thought that was really cool. Another theme that I pulled from John Green's other books is An Abundance of Catherines. Augustus wanted to leave a mark in this world, do something extraordinary. There's a lot of themes that John has already touched upon in his previous books that John kind of incorporates in The Fault in Our Stars, which was really great. The whole Amsterdam kind of, that was the, really the core of my favorite moments in the book, was the Amsterdam trip. I thought that was a great development for all of the characters in the story. As for the ending of the book, oh my gosh, my heart. My heart was so heavy for Augustus and Hazel and what they were going through. You know, despite the exhaustion and pain Augustus was going through, he was still being himself. He still had that charismatic charm. He was Augustus Waters till the very end and I thought that was just lovely. It just showed that this illness didn't make the person. Wow, that, that, this book is awesome. So those were my favorite aspects of the book. I just loved how throughout the book there was just so many great down-to-earth moments and those interactions these characters had with one another. They lived their lives how they wanted to live it. Reading this book made me think back on my personal experiences, remembering and thinking of those I care about. So those are my thoughts guys on The Fault in Our Stars. Let me know what you guys think. How did you guys feel about the book? And I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.